Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how to actually make advanced presets inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, meaning you could create anything that you want and then just drag and drop it into your timeline like a preset. It's actually pretty insane and it's legit what I use to build all of my new packs or my new viral reels editing workflow. If you wanna go check it out, link will be down in the description below. But today, I'm gonna to share with you guys all of the sauce. Real quick, as you guys can tell, your boy decorated for Christmas. If you decorate early in the year, let me know down in the description below. Or if you guys think I'm crazy, also let me know down in the comments below. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump straight into Adobe Premiere. Premiere Pro. So first things first, I'm going to show you guys kind of what we're going to be replicating just so that way it's super easy for you guys to even see if you want to watch the rest of the video. And as you guys can see, this footage is just here. This would be your footage. And then here is where we kind of get into the advanced presets. The way that I utilize this is by importing a project with these already loaded in with a template. Let's say you wanted to start off with a hook. Um, let's say you wanted to do a very basic hook with like nothing really too crazy into it. You could just literally drag and drop your edits into the timeline. And then right here, let's just say this is where like your first cut is at. You would literally have a camera movement, transition overlay, sound effects already all done for you without even you having to do any of the edits. But let's say maybe your cut was actually right here. All you would do is just cut this part and then just like kind of slide this over, legit slide this over, maybe just like these and just move them over right here on the marker. And then you just simply go ahead and it's done for you just like that super easy now what's cool with this pack is i legit made a whole lot of them i made this one which this one looks pretty fire so line one hook. you just replace the text replace the icon you're good to go um of course line it up with your um, timeline or real quick just one last thing before we get into it is i actually made like a cinematic text stack kind of like this so that way you get like cinematic text slide in effects really easily like legit i could just be like um easy And you just slide that over and you're like, oh, that looks sick. All right, cool. Done for you. Easy money. Okay, so now that we know what we're going to be creating and kind of how we could use it inside of our workflow, I want to show you guys exactly how to do it. No gatekeeping. First things first, you guys want to go to your project bin, right click in the dead space, new item adjustment layer, or you guys can just go ahead, hit this right here and just hit adjustment layer. Hit OK. It'll create one for you. Simple. Drag and drop it. Let's say the end of the hook is actually right in this area. So let's do that. We're just going to drag and drop it towards the hook area. We're going to go to presets, type in and find the transform tool. Just like that, select that, drag and drop it. Or for me, I'm personally just going to my presets, viral preset pack, and then it's right here super easily with the motion blur enabled. Now, if you don't have the motion blur enabled or you want motion blur with your transform, you guys want to go ahead and uncheck this. Make sure this is unchecked and then make sure this is 360. And then uh, you're good to go to start making your own keyframes. So let's say we want it to be like kind of a zoom out effect. We're gonna go ahead and hit this toggle animation clock. We're gonna move this over because we want it to like kind of move like out to like the normal size. We want it to kind of zoom in for the first frame. Okay, so because this is over here, we're gonna go ahead and kind of zoom in so that way it starts close and moves out, um, kind of like a zoom out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in like just something crazy like this. I'm gonna go ahead and play it through. As you guys can see, it looks terrible <laughs> and the reason being is because we have to go ahead and actually play with the velocity of these keyframes so select both of these keyframes simply by just selecting them like so right click bezier and what that's going to go ahead and do is it's going to allow you to click the first one hit this carrot icon and then you can really play with the movement now when it's an in movement you really kind of want it to be kind of like this shape just kind of like a voom you know what I mean? Like a chill little ramp. Now this, obviously you have to kind of play um, with back and forth and just kind of see what's looking good. And to me, that actually looks pretty clean, um, but maybe we want this to not be so drastic. We could just bring this down. And to me, that actually looks really clean. Now I noticed that this is a little funky, so I'm gonna move this down just like so. Okay, same thing i'm gonna keep moving this down now sometimes you kind of got to get really really like up in there so you got to zoom in a lot and then just really make sure that it lines up perfectly like this there we go okay so there we go we have our camera movement now just to kind of add some sauce let's go ahead and add in like a overlay so i'm just going to go ahead drag and drop this overlay into my timeline and let's say we want the overlay to line up right here now me personally i use markers on where i want it to be along the cut point so right here so i added the mark right there because that's where i want it to be blend mode um, i like to use screen or lighten um, some people use difference um, and then let's say you want to add one in the beginning 
but let's actually move this over just like so. So that way it kind of starts with like the end part of it. That looks really good to me. Sweet. So now that we got our overlay, one last thing, maybe we just want to go ahead and add in some text. Let's go ahead and just add in our text really simply, just like so. I'm just going to go ahead and select it. I'm just going to type in subscribe uh, because you guys should subscribe if you're not because I drop the best short form content editing tutorials out there on the market right now. So anyways, I'm going to go to properties because it kind of got lost in the sauce. I'm actually just going to keep it white, but we're going to go to the blend mode, get a little fancy. And we're going to make it a difference. And this is kind of that um, metallic -y sort of vibe that people always like to go for, me included. I'm no better. Yeah, so to me, that looks really good. So it's got like the subscribe button, really clean. But maybe you want to, you know, sauce up the text. You can. Um, you could either use any of the presets that you have, create your own transform preset for a slide in. Me personally, I'm just going to go to my viral effects pack link down below. All right. Um, I'm just going to do a slide in up subtle, just like this. Sick. That looks really good. And then let's say you want to add like another text. You could just go ahead, move this over like so. And then make it go like that and maybe move it down. And maybe you want to just change the text like so. <laughs> Killer. And then you can just adjust the timing. W. So now that we kind of made the thing that we want to save, what you guys are going to want to go ahead and do very simple, legit. This is the time key framed point that is in the comment section. So if, if you keep that, you're already here. What's up? Um, but this is literally what you guys watch the entire video for is simply select everything that you want to be saved and whatever layer you want it to be. Like, for example, if you want it to be saved in the third layer, just go ahead and move it up, uh, move everything up or down, depending on your preference. Right click go over here to nest and then type in like by a hook just like that. Um, and then you'll see it appear into your project bin and just like this, you'll see it go do this and you're gonna be like, bro, what happened to my edit? Just delete it, get rid of it. Don't worry about it. It's safe. Drag and drop it into your timeline. And then there you go. It's legit ready for you um, for whenever you want to edit um, next time. And now this workflow, the possibilities are endless. So whether you're a motion graphics type of guy, you can save all your motion graphics for easy access in next edit, yada, yada. Or if you're a topography type of guy, or if you're a camera movement type of guy, yeah, you could really just go crazy with it, which is really, really cool. Okay. So now that you have this sequence sort of made, you're probably like, that's dope. But, uh, how do I open it up in my next projects moving forward? How do I actually use this to like build my workflow and how you're going to go ahead and do that is what I like to do is create a new project and we're going to name this, um, advanced uh presets and then you, you could do like your name whatever um and then you could go ahead and hit create and skip the import mode we're gonna go over here to this fire hook we're gonna just copy it and then paste it into this bin now it's gonna actually go ahead and just import what it needs to import from your other um, project if you use something from the other project which is fine you can go ahead and just legit create like a, a media bin just like this. And you could just go ahead, and drag this in, drag this in. And then you could create another bin saying like hooks and you could drag the hook right there. So that way you have something like this in your template. So you could open it up and just drag and drop your fire hook like that super easily. Um, so now that you have that sort of done, you're not finished yet. You want to go ahead and actually go to this project, make sure it's selected, go to file and then save this as a template. Now this is the sauce right here. This is what you name, you know, your edit bin. So you could say pro edit pack number one or something like that. Hit save fire. So now we're just going to go ahead and close out of Adobe Premiere Pro. Just get rid of it. I'm not going to save it, um, which I hope that doesn't bite me in the ass. I probably should have saved it. Okay, well, um, I should have saved the project file that we just made. So give me one second. Okay, so I figured it out. Um, all I needed to do was save it before I made the actual template. So before you guys go ahead and make the template, go ahead and go to the project bin that you're working in and just go ahead and hit save project like so. And then with that same project enabled, go ahead, go to file, go to save as template, just like this. And I'm just going to do edit pack uh, number three, just like this hit save. And then let's go ahead and open up a new project. So we're going to go to new project. We're going to go to template edit pack number three, just like this, and then do test. And as you guys can see, we're going to skip this. And then as you guys can see 
in the project test, you guys will literally have the um, hook ready to go for you guys super, super easily. Now, what's cool is you can continue to upgrade this editing template as you edit, which means the more you edit and the more edits you make, the faster you're going to become over a longer period of time and the more efficient you'll be. So it'll really make sense for you to spend as much time as you can making quality edits now. So that way you can reap the rewards later. But again, if you guys don't want to go ahead and do this entire process yourself, I went ahead and did the entire thing for you from hooks, topography presets, camera movements, scale in and out. I even added aspect ratios, overlays, transition overlays, sound effects, whatever you may need, it is gonna be at your fingertips already in your project bin. So go ahead, check out the Valor Reels bundle down below, the best short form editing bundle that you'll see on the market. It's got my viral effects pack, my viral edits pack, and the viral editor course where I show you guys how to edit short form content like a pro in just minutes using the viral reels bundle. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. Remember, take action, take over over and happy holidays peace out do y'all do y'all do y'all like the uh the lights that i did on my mic is that cool or what bro am i not the coolest editor on youtube bro am i not the coolest editor on youtube for that bro <sighs> i just wish everybody could be this cool man for real <laughs> uh let me go